here we are in the Alps of England to test a 65 millimeter macro void lender lens for Nikon Z system. That's right, this is the 65 millimeter F2 macro Apo Lanthar. It is a chunky lens, but it is specifically for the Z system, so we're going to see how it does. We're going to photograph all those mushrooms and flowers and berries that we can find in the snow, unless they're frozen, so we probably just can go to the freezer and photograph it there. Yeah, or maybe some snowflakes. <laughs> Wish us luck. <laughs> quite tricky to find macro subjects that aren't just snow, snow and more snow. It's all like frozen leaf, frozen blade of grass, frozen branch, but I'm going to do my best. I found a nice patch of light here, which I'm going to try and make use of. All right, so Becky's looking for subjects to photograph. Oh, quite looking forward to seeing what that shot looks like. Yeah, nice. I'm going to shoot wide open, which I haven't been doing because it's so bright. But, ooh, very dreamy. Wow. Wasn't expecting that kind of rendering. Look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Almost wish I'd brought my 50 to compare it with. I have a feeling, just due to the size of this lens, that this lens should produce best results than 50, just based on the actual size of the lens. <laughs> More glass. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. We've already established that the 50 mil macro is not the sharpest lens for general purpose stuff, but that it's great close up. It has its strengths and it has its weaknesses. And this one, I think, might be a little bit more versatile for use because it's sharper at infinity. But just takes a really long time to focus. So patience with this one, I guess. Yeah, patience is your friend. I get this like focus confirmation. The green square comes up for a split second because even the slightest movement throws it out of focus. So, so ideally you want to have tripod, yeah? Yeah, okay. tripod completely still subject as well. Fair enough. But yes, tripod would be very, very helpful. But enough of this marker stuff. Let's see how this lens performs for general photography and maybe some portrait work. Because 65 is obviously not as wide as 50, so some of you may prefer just to get this lens for this type of thing. And because it's quite chunky and it's got 10 blades diaphragm, I would assume that bokeh for portrait is going to be quite amazing. Okay, I switched to f11, and to be honest with you, if you're gonna use this lens for general photography, anything at 5.6 f8 to f11, let's say, everything's sharp, focusing, you don't need to digitally zoom in, it's absolutely fine. Stick it to infinity, you get the shot. All right, let's see. Let's use that LCD screen. And that, how you get your jacket ruined. <laughs> and that's why we use gaffer tape. <laughs> gaffer tape is the best photographer's friend, especially in winter. This, um, this modern art installation. Exactly. Called the abandoned glove. I'm gonna write a 16 page essay about it. Exactly. Yeah. And I'm going to plaster it under the shot, which is going to be three meters wide. <laughs> and since we are all manual, it's so bright. And we have to judge the LCD. Uh, now, here's the disadvantages of electronic viewfinder. On a bright day like this, you can't see the LCD and it's very difficult to see inside the EVF. So with optical viewfinder, you probably would definitely do better.
I want to hear your thoughts because you're not a macro shooter. So when we were loaned this lens uh, to try out, I really thought you weren't going to have any interest in it whatsoever. But what do you think? Well, to be honest with you, I'm not even a macro enthusiast, you know. Not even a little bit. But I tried it for portraits and the bokeh is amazing. So I really love this for that purpose. Uh, before trying this lens, I thought, well, why would you get this over, let's say, 50 f2 Apo, which is a very capable lens, costs about the same, but much smaller. And I thought, well, 50 f2 is probably a better street photography lens because obviously the focusing throw is much shorter. You, you can get the subject and focus really, really quickly. Now, this one for portrait work, definitely. Definitely, yeah. this is just the bokeh is amazing. It's a different style bokeh, I would say, compared to the other one, because the other one is more like a kind of modern rendering glass like. This one is definitely a lot creamier while having the same aperture. Mm -hmm. Maybe the focal distance of 65 has to do with it, and it compresses a little bit more. But I did find that this is beautiful. It's just to get this lens for this, for this special effect, would be quite nice. And what I would say, if you don't have 58 F mount lens, then this would be a nice choice for your Z-mount system if you don't want to use FTZ adapter. Now, one of the things to keep in mind, this is an APO lens. APO stands for apochromatic, and those are the sharpest lenses from Voigtland. Let's talk about vignetting. Yeah, it does vignette a little bit at f2, but I don't know a single lens that doesn't. That's wide open. It seems to disappear by about f4, doesn't it? Yeah, and vignetting is not a severe one at f2. It's there, but it's, it's not a heavy one, exactly. Yeah, very, very soft. Now, as a macro shooter and someone who owns both macro lenses by Nikon. I don't know if for my macro photography, I would buy a Voigtlander 65 mil. It does produce this beautiful kind of creamy look when you shoot wide open. Um, but because I've already got those two lenses, it doesn't make a lot of sense for me to then buy a manual focus lens uh, that's about the same price, actually a little bit more than the 50 mil. Now saying that, if I didn't have any macro lenses, this would be a serious contender because although it does take a while to focus, it is a joy to use and it's so solidly built and well made and so sharp, even wide open, that I think image comparison wise, it's probably gonna look fairly similar. All right, so you effectively choosing convenience. I'm choosing convenience because I like, because I, I go out shooting with people that have no patience. And you already spent the money. <laughs> yes. So you have, but you haven't spent the money, then you've got quite a few lenses to choose from. Yeah. We are very excited to now have not one, two, three, but four macro offerings in the Z lineup. We've got the two Nikon Z macros, and now we've got two Voigtlander macros, the 35 DX lens and the 65. The choice is here for you. And you can buy them all from Great Service Minister. You can. Which is us. That's right. Thank you very much for watching. Please give us a like and a subscribe if you liked this video. Maybe even a super thanks if you found it super useful. That would be wonderful, Becky. And let us know what you think in the comments below. We actually didn't get many wide shots. This is my Michelin, yeah. Michelin woman pose. <laughs> Looks like, uh, what's his name? The Buzz whatever light year. Buzz light year, yeah. yeah. I mean, I feel with the really skinny legs and the really big torso. Like this, do let us know in the comments below. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>